channel trends welcome back to this new tutorial today we're gonna learn with Luis Cole how to create a projector effect and also a laser scanning effect as is the first tip so let's start so the first thing as you can see in my scene I have a basic setup a simple geometry a camera and also I have my light set to flat color and very low value so this is what I get it is completely dull completely black nothing else okay how you do your projector effect you just add a light type spot i have a spot here i change the orientation of my spot on the y-axis so my spot is lighting on the wall here turn on the render mode so you can see if i increase the value of the gain here to something very high you see i have a simple uh, spotlight okay move a bit the spotlight so now i can turn my spotlight into a projector just uh, choose an image and this image will be used by the spotlight to be projected on my wall so i can see here the images pretty distorted so I change it by rotating my spots on the y-axis like this and I get the correct uh, shape of the the correct rotation of the image now I need to change the size of the spots so the image will fit in the wall here so I reduce the the size of the spot like this I can also change the position the location of my spot so that I can better fit inside of the wall uh, also you can see that the image is very bright so one thing I can do is just reduce here the number the gain value so I get something less bright increase the value here uh, and I can make my image a bit more contrasted by changing the gamma value here 2.2 so I get something very contrasted okay you can also add a nice uh, volumetric effect by adding a surrounding box like this you add a box here and you fill the box with a shader to create okay you need a null shader like this and add some dust inside of the of the box so we get a foggy environment so let's change to see what happening it is too dusty so we have to reduce the scattering scale here 0 0.01 like this and maybe make it a bit higher 0 0.05 and now as you can see I get the shape of the light directly projected inside of the dust and I also get my nice uh, spot effect I can still increase the spotlight here to something uh, way bigger way higher so that you can see we get the spot shape and also the image projected on the wall okay you can also use this effect to create some laser scanning effects like uh, in my short film mm, with the bedding logo hut to do that you need to create first a texture representing your laser light so new image I use GIMP for that okay I change my image to black black background like this I use a pen and I set my the size of the brush to one pixel width and I just paint uh, another the color of the laser is painted on top of the black background like this okay one pixel white 
so I don't get a fat laser light and I can save this uh, image and then now I can load the image let me set the cube to bounding box so you can see inside select my spotlight and then now I can change the spotlight to the laser light now I can just uh, project the laser light onto the wall you can barely see the laser effect on the wall so to make it more visible we need to increase the value here to very high value turn the gamma to 1 2.2 2.2 okay we keep the gamma at this uh, value and we can see now that we have the laser light here we lost the color a bit so we need to reduce the the gain here again 2000 okay now i start to see the color i can make the environment more bright so now you can see and i can also increase the importance value of my spotlight so i get faster render from the spotlight you get importance 50 so you get faster render here okay now you see that the the, the laser effect is limited to a smaller size so i can increase the size like this by increasing the size of the spot shape here and i get a wider wider you can rotate it during your animation so you get the spot effect and if you also have uh, a, a geometry inside of your project uh, like this one I have a geometry here with a displacement modifier on top of it okay I have this displacement effect here and I can use the laser light and, and you can see that the light is deformed according to the shape of my my uh, my wall here you can see okay so you can see clearly that it is working i can select the spotlight again and change as you can see the part of the image in black don't render any light and the part of the image that is red is rendering the laser effect so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you will make your own uh, effect and thank you for watching and see you the next time